what you have here is a paper and you know you could say well it's a very small study because it only involves two people but what it really is is two case reports mm -hmm. it says so uh, of adolescent males who got myocarditis following a administration of these covid so-called vaccines and what it reports is, is there something you want to read or should i just summarize it yeah you can what they report is that even though these cases had appeared to clear up, that effectively they've got relapses, and those relapses appear to be about, uh, I believe it says that they show new lesions upon yeah. uh, investigating the hearts of these young people. Yeah, the CMR, which I can't remember what that stands for, um, showed new focal areas of edema in the first case report and stable lesions in the second one. They reached full recovery with normalization of cardiac enzymes after a few days. So full recovery being uh, the measure of the cardiac enzymes. Yeah. Only. Um, okay. So anyway, the reason that we raised this is because, again, it puts the lie, and yes, it's two cases, but it suggests oh, sorry. that- Sorry, CMR, uh, that's cardiac magnetic resonance scanning. So MRI. these are uh, it's MRIs, basically. It's MRIs of the heart. Yep. The, the problem here is that we have been told again and again that we are terrible people for casting doubt on these marvelous inoculants, which they call vaccines, and that the fact that myocarditis, well, of course, sure, it may happen, but it's extremely rare and it clears up, and so it's not a big deal, and so who are we to worry? And the answer is you don't know anything. I'm not I'm not sure I would have predicted that it would clear up and recur, but yeah. the idea that people who've gotten a clean bill of health after having myocarditis, which no cardiologist would tell you is a minor condition, or no good cardiologist anyway, mm -hmm. um, the fact that these relapses occur is extremely concerning. Why are they occurring? Is it an ongoing pathology even though the heart has cleared these mRNAs? Are the mRNAs that have been hyperstabilized with these pseudouridines migrating around? That is not obvious. And in any case, the idea that people who had effectively no risk from COVID in the first place were inoculated with something that had this potential and that then the concerns of other people who might think, well, maybe I shouldn't get one because myocarditis doesn't sound like something I want, were told, well, if you do get it, and that's going to be very unlikely, which it isn't, but uh, if you do get it, it's uh, likely to be transient and you'll, you'll go on your way. No, no big deal. And the answer is no. How many times do we have to say it? We're talking about hearts and we're talking about heart damage. And the fact is heart damage doesn't repair. You get a scar and a scar means you have a lesser heart. That's a heart that can do less. It's less efficient. It's less capable of enduring insult in the future. This is not a minor issue at all. And the fact that these maniacs decided to inject people who stood to gain effectively nothing from it, in spite of the fact that the inoculations didn't prevent transmission, which still wouldn't have justified giving them to people who stood to gain no benefit personally. But they don't block transmission. It didn't control the disease. So that we harmed these people for no reason whatsoever. And the harm is one that is going to adjust how long many of these people live and what they can do during that lifetime. Is there anything you know, more precious that you could rob someone of? Uh, this, is, this is robbing them of their own physiologically generated freedom, the capacity to live a life that you don't have to worry uh, that your heart was damaged by some stupid experiment that somebody ran on you in 2021. Yeah. Now we're just going to take your youthful vigor away from you. That's all. That's all. That's all. And, you know, make you potentially a lifelong uh, consumer for uh, pharmaceuticals to deal with the heart problems that they've caused. And, you know, mind you also, it's been weeks, maybe months since we talked about it, but the fact that these things were seem to have been driven to be injected into young people and put on the childhood schedule for cynical reasons of creating legal immunity for the shots that were injected into adults. This is just, this is disgusting. And I don't know how many different lines of evidence you need, but it seems really unambiguous that, as I've said many times, something has become 
completely indifferent to the suffering and death of other people's children. And anytime you're dealing with something that's that cold, you really have to wonder about anything connected to it. And it is obviously riddled through our, our governmental regulatory structure, our universities, our journals. It's uh, censoring people on social media. It is uh, disparaging them on Wikipedia. I mean, I, it's a it's a dire emergency of criminality that has become so normal that we barely notice it. 